Hi everyone, my name is Christine. I'm a senior at Eastlake High School in Sammamish, Washington, and I'm so excited to be a Regeneron Science Talent Search finalist. For the Science Talent Search, my project involved what are called gravitational waves. For context, about 100 years ago, Albert Einstein came up with his theory of relativity, and not only did he transform our understanding of the universe, but he told us we should expect to see these mysterious ripples in the fabric of space-time itself called gravitational waves. These waves travel all throughout the universe and carry information about their faraway, mysterious sources. Fast forward 100 years, and now we can build ultra-precise instruments to actually detect the impact of gravitational waves and see them as they pass by Earth. And we can use them to learn about astrophysics and physics and the entire universe. In my project, I used gravitational waves and data from an instrument called the Laser Interferometer Gravitational Wave Observatory, or LIGO, to see what we could learn about neutron stars, which are these ultra-dense collapsed cores of dead stars, and black holes, which are these mysterious objects so dense that not even light can escape. When they collide, obviously there's a lot of extreme physics and astrophysics involved, and so when we get gravitational waves from those collisions and we see them with our instruments on Earth, we can learn a lot about the universe and about the fundamental physics and astrophysics that governs those collisions. Um, some other fun facts about me. Um, I've been studying Russian classical ballet for many years. Um, my favorite scientist is Kip Thorne, who is one of the leaders of LIGO, who detect gravitational waves. And a fun fact about him is that he was also a science talent search alumnus uh, many, many years ago. Another one of my favorite scientists is Jocelyn Burnell. Uh, who is one of the first female astronomers. Uh, she's the one who discovered the first um, observational evidence of neutron stars uh, through a form of a neutron star called a pulsar. Um, another fun fact, I really love reading and writing. Um, I really also like word games that's related to, I guess, reading and writing. Um, so I love playing Wordle. Wordle's kind of big these days and word hunt and crosswords. Um, and my last fun fact, is that I plan to go to college to study physics and to do research in physics and astrophysics as a career. Thank you.